Hello and welcome back to the channel. Great to see you. So terrific to have you back here. That's for sure. Definitely. I've got some more Let It Be stuff to show you. Wow. What amazing stuff that we are really on our, an incredible journey with all of this that's come out. It is just terrific. I'm really, really enjoying this. But uh, I know you're probably going to comment because uh, my thumbnail uh, that I'm using is all my Beatle albums, and there are Beatle albums from all over the world. I've got them from Germany and Spain and England, Japan, France, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Uruguay, America, uh, all kinds of different pressings. So that was my thumbnail, and I thought I'd just put that in for fun to, to show it to you. So that's kind of neat. Um, kind of doing things a little bit different in this video. Uh, behind me is my poster which I've got, which is the uh, movie poster for Let It Be for Mexico. Kind of neat. It's up, up above me all the time, but I brought it down just to do this video. See, it's always in my videos, but it's so high up that you never get to see it. So, but I wanted to share with you the exciting thing. I know a lot of people have shown these already, but I want to show mine too. And this is the vinyl box set. So we're going to start off with the vinyl. And I kept my plastic intact. And I've got a whole reason and a whole thing I want to talk to you about with the plastic on these. So stay tuned for that because i got more to tell you about it. Um, and some other stuff as well. So this is just, I don't know. Yeah, we, we had Sgt. Pepper. We had the White Album, we had Abbey Road, and the box sets are, are expensive, yes, but let it be, <sighs> is worth every single penny of it, because let it be is really, the sound quality of let it be, and the whole thing of it is just fantastic. Like I said, and here's the box. The sound quality is so much superior, I think, um, then the other box sets, I really think it's a whole lot better. So and here's the vinyl, which, you know, it's, that's part of it. Um, and then here you get a very nice hardbound, uh, hardback, I should say, coffee table book, which is really nice. Um, and the pictures in this are just unbelievable. I mean, look at this. This is... Fantastic color, tremendous pictures, just, just really loving this. And, and there's so much in this. I really, I've listened to the CDs of it and somewhat the vinyl, but I haven't gotten to listen to the uh, Blu-ray either. I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, but I'm still taking this in because there's just so much, so much to absorb in this. Um but yeah, the book is just terrific. And this is a 100-page uh, book. And, you know, 1970, they came out with, in England and Canada and in America, the Beatles box set, which kind of had uh, the album in it and the um, booklet. Kind of a nice paperback or, you know, like a soft-bound edition booklet. And I got that as, as well. Mine is from Canada. And a lot of pictures that are in that don't show up in this. So that's kind of nice. We got enough, enough in there. So fantastic book. I'm not going to go through all the pages. Like I said, it's a 100-page book, which is great. And then they did this. This is the um, couple songs that didn't make the actual album itself. And I love the way they did this in the English style, uh, the way they did the 45s. I mean, that is just really... Uh, as my English people would say, that's really spot on, you know. It really, really is. So here is the vinyl of that. And that's it. Or is it? Uh. <laughs> I got a story for you. Robert P., who's a very good friend... Um, he purchased this vinyl box set for me, and he split it with uh, Tim Allen, who also has a channel. Watch Tim Allen. He's really great. Uh, Tim Allen has a really, really good channel. I think you'll like Tim Allen. He got the other half 
of this box set. Robert was nice enough to uh, send it to me and to Tim, and so he kind of just split it up between the two of us. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I am really happy that Tim has got it, and Tim has a video up about it as well, I'm sure. And, you know, it's great that he, he got to enjoy that. So he got the two records set and the outtakes and stuff. So with all of this, it's crazy, you know, I'm, I'm really passionate about collecting. So I kept all of the, I'm not going to show them to you, but these are all the, the papers that came with it that were outside saying, you know, uh, let it be box set vinyl edition, you know, vinyl box set CD edition. I kept all of those because I'm just, I'm just so passionate about the Beatles and keeping everything that it just means so much to me to have all of that. And it's really, really great to have that. And also there's this set that I wanted to show you. I also got the CD version in the box and there's all the information. I know so many people have shown these already on their channel, but please just stay with me for a few minutes on mine so I can show it to you. I'm trying to trying to get something here. Something I dropped. Okay. <laughs> Little technical issue here. Something that I dropped and needed to pick up. All right, all right. <laughs> Mosing right along. You get the information once again on uh, this, which is the whole CD set and advertising the book, which I did a whole video on the book. So I hope you did see that. And I love the way they did this. This is the uh, CD set, the front, the back. Um, I kind of was expecting this to maybe be in a box like that, but I love the way they did this in a tall form, which kind of gives it more of an easier way to store it with the rest of my box sets and everybody else has got box sets of other bands and all that, and that'll fit in nicely. So up above here, you've got the, the album and then you've got the, the outtakes and, and more of the outtakes here. And then you drop down and you've got more stuff here, which is great. And then the 45 that I showed you, this is on the CD down below here. And then this is the Blu-ray, which I have not gotten around to watching yet, which I will get to see the Blu-ray. Just haven't done that one yet. Just Mrs. Beetlebrad is keeping me very busy with other things. Plus, I'm just getting back from vacation. I was gone for a whole week, so that, that kept me busy with family and all of that. Um, so, yeah, so this is kind of hard to jump into because I'm just now getting into it. Um, kind of late and slow, but it's it's still fun. Uh, the book is very nice. It's the exact same book as uh, the one I showed you previously. This is the CD version of the book. I'm not going to go through all the pages. Um, but they made this very nicely in the fact that you can store it with the rest of the stuff. And the difference is there's a little bit of size difference, which is nice. So, you know, I kind of compare it, show you. So if you're still kind of shopping and thinking about what to get, um, so you can see there's a little bit of difference there in the sizes on the books. Uh, personally, I kind of, I love the books, you know, thank you for doing this, Apple Corps and Beatles and all that. I really kind of would have liked to have maybe seen a little bit different uh, stiff stuff in these books. Uh, maybe the CD had a poster with it, or maybe the CD had some different pictures, but they're both 100 page books, so they follow the exact same way, which, you know, that's fine. You know, I don't mean to be picky if... If anything, if I could be picky about it, it's probably that. So, tremendous book. And I want to thank Robert P. for that as well. Yes, Robert was Santa Claus to Beetle Brad, and he sent the whole set on that. So, thank you so very much, Robert. Man, I cannot believe I got that set from you. So, thank you very, very much for both of them. And I hope, Tim, you enjoy your vinyl as well and um, all of that. So, but let me, let me, something I wanted to talk to you about. I've kept this all in the original plastic shrink wrap. 
And years ago, I've been buying box sets. This is made in America, but maybe you can find them in your country or where you are. But these are uh, hefty uh, jumbo bags. And as you can kind of see the size of them, these are really oversized, big, big bags, which is great. So here they are here. I know they got hefty on them, but you can put them on the outer side where it doesn't say hefty. We're here. Um, and then I it's got plenty of room. And I can store my box set in these. So if you're looking for a way to store your box sets and keeping them in perfect shape and everything, these plastic bags are perfect for that. Um, as far as I know, that there isn't anything out there that will work as well as this because these are pretty heavy and hefty and all that kind of stuff. Plus, you can put them in the freezer because it says freezer bags. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, nobody will ever find them in there in the freezer. Yeah, anybody messes with your house and tries to get in, they'll never find them. So, but that's a it's just a little helpful hint to help you out with your box sets to try and look for uh, jumbo bags if you can. Those would be great. Um, I've changed camera angles and all that kind of stuff, so I'm kind of kind of lost here to where I'm supposed to look. I'm still kind of learning on that. You would think after 60 videos, 600 videos, excuse me, 60, 600 videos, I'd have it right. But I'm always changing and doing stuff. Um, but one of the things we do in the vinyl community, we, we do well, which I want to give a shout out to uh, Tim Allen. Uh, go and watch his channel. Fantastic guy. Really, really great. Does a lot of the uh, uh, live chats with us as well and different things. And uh, he's just a great, great guy. He's had a very, very good channel for, for, for many, many years. He's been in the VC. Um, but often we don't give shout outs anymore. But I do want to give out another shout out to a, a new person who's on the block. And he's in the Beatle family and all that kind of stuff. And he's starting to show stuff. He's relatively new. And it's uh, Beatley Tunes, apostrophe S with that, Tunes, Beatles Channel. So that's Beatley Tunes, apostrophe S, Beatles Channel. Huh. You guys will really enjoy this guy. He has got some tremendous stuff, and I really enjoy him. He is very, very interesting. He's entertaining to watch, and he's from... England, so that makes it great. <laughs> it really does. So that's really nice, and I'm really enjoying his videos. And if you watch his videos, tell him that Beetle Brad sent you. Subscribe to him as well and watch his videos. He's got some tremendous stuff, and I think you're going to enjoy them. I think you really will. So I want to give a shout out to his channel as well. And like I said, watch him. And I thank you so very much for my new subscribers. Hey, what's up? Glad to have you here. Welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. I've got tons more stuff to show you. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really do. I've got so much more to show you. And if you want, you can back up and watch some of my previous videos, which I show a lot of rare and collectible Beetle stuff. And to my subscribers that have been with me for years, thank you so very much. You guys are the rock, the rock of my channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. It's been great having you on my channel and uh, commenting and all of that. So I thank you so very much for my older subscribers and my new subscribers. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so very much for being here. And I'm going to have John take us out on this video, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Well, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the Goodwill Hills. I hope we part the audition. Yeah, so there we go. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, to end Let It Be, that ends Let It Be and talking about it. I've got more to show you, so stay tuned. And as I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See you on the next fun video.